So you've not been playing Skyward for too long and you want to make some coins. You want to do more damage but items like the aspects of the dragons are drastically out of budget. You think a million coins is a lot but then you realise in the grand scheme it's not really. There must be a way to make coins faster and therefore get better items faster. Well that would be very true. Starting a hypixel can be daunting and sometimes you just don't know what to do. Now early game is quite a large bracket really. You've got players who have literally never played the game before and this will be the first skyblock experience. At the same time you may have players that have been playing for 5 or 6 months but they just haven't properly got things started. So I'm hoping to cover some money making methods for the majority of players within early game. Now it goes without saying, if you've literally just started the game and you don't know how to start off and get any coins at all in order to make more coins, I just recommend hitting wheat in the hub. Sell everything to an NPC from the probably buy a rookie hole and from the basically just farm more wheat repeat. You'll need to unlock the bazaar as soon as possible, which means that you'll need to achieve Skyblock level 7. You can check your Skyblock level by right clicking on your nether star and hovering over Skyblock leveling. From there, you can check all the different ways that you can level up, basically. I would recommend starting off with your core skills like farming, foraging, mining and combat. Once you have the bazaar unlocked, it opens up a lot more avenues to make money. Let's say you are brand new to the game and you've been farming some wheat for, I don't know, maybe 5 minutes. You've sold everything that you have to the farming merchant. You've unlocked the bazaar, okay, you scribe up level 7 and you've got 10,000 coins. As you can see, that's what I've got my purse at the moment. So once you have the bazaar, the first thing I recommend doing would be going over to this website. It's called Bazaar Tracker. I'll leave it in the description. It's not an ad, it's just very useful. So you're on the homepage, basically just scroll down to the bottom. You'll find this here, Top Resell. Um, so if you click into Top Resell, this is basically just a money-making glitch at the start of the game. All of these items, you can essentially buy from NPCs and sell to the bazaar and make quite a lot of profit. For instance, packed ice, as you can see, you buy for nine coins and sell for 54 coins. Um, if you basically buy as much as you can, you're gonna make 28, 29K profit. So anything that says that you will actually make a profit is worth doing. Now this changes all the time because the prices on the bazaar change all the time. So I would always check this website before doing this method, considering that sometimes an item that will make you profit will actually sometimes lose your coins. It won't make profit. So at the moment, what do we have? Packed Ice, Flint, Coal, they're going to be high earners. So for Packed Ice, we'll head over to the Builder. We'll right click on Packed Ice and we'll buy as much as we can. There is a limit, it's 640 and there we are, we've reached the limit. So we've spent, what's that? 5.7k. Um, head over to the Bazaar, we'll simply just quick sell. As you can see, that already takes us up to 38k. Coal is another one that will make us a lot of coins, so we'll go over to the Mine Merchant. Same again, right click on coal and buy as much as we possibly can until we reach the limit. Head back to the bazaar, sell everything, and are up to 43k. Also, Flint seems to be quite um, a profitable one at the moment, so we'll head into the graveyard over to this NPC here, we'll right click. Same again, we will basically buy as much as we possibly can, and then sell it to the bazaar. And there we go, sell it to the bazaar, and we're up to 55k. So the buy limit resets every 24 hours, so you can do this every single day. From there, this is a money making method that I've featured time and time again. So ideally, you want to get to Diamond Collection 6. So this will unlock the crafting recipe for Diamond Spreading. Now this is Ridiculous Profit, it's another one where you can do it every single day. At the start of the game, it's just Ridiculous Profit. Now don't worry, you don't have to manually mine the diamonds. As you can see in Diamond Collection, there'll be Diamond Collection 1, you may have to manually mine 50. But you'll be able to unlock the crafting recipe for a diamond minion. I would recommend crafting this, putting it down, upgrading it as much as you can. So it then basically gets you even more diamonds. The quicker you do that, the quicker you unlock the recipe. And um, yeah, let me explain the method. So to craft a diamond spreading, you need one enchanted diamond and eight vines. Now the enchanted diamond is the easy part. You go over to the bazaar, onto the mining. And you can see if you click into diamond, enchanted diamond, it's around about 1.3 or 1.4k each. As for the vines, it's not straightforward. You come over to the builder, you click on the green thumb, and from there you need to buy jungle leaves. Once you've bought some jungle leaves, you can right click on your nether star, come over to trades, and as you can see here, vines. So you need five jungle leaves for one vine. So five jungle leaves will cost you 20 coins. As you can see, one enchanted diamond is 1.4k. So let's say, worst comes to worst, you've spent 1.5k on this diamond spreading. Once you've crafted it, if you then come over to the auction house um, and go into the auction browser, and then if you simply type in diamond spreading, um, it will bring up obviously diamond spreadings. Now at the moment, the cheapest one is 7k. After that is 9.5. 
Realistically, you're probably going to be able to see it sell them at the moment for 9, 9.5k. That's listed too cheap. Sometimes these can actually go up to 20, 30. I've sometimes seen them at 40k. I don't know why they're so expensive. But yeah, you can sell these in volume. They're very easy to craft. It's just ridiculous profit. Now, just as like with other blocks like Packed Ice, there is a limit of 640 per day that you can buy and sell, just so people don't abuse that money-making method that's at the start so much. Now, there isn't actually a limit to how many jungle leaves you can buy, although there is a limit to how many vines you can obtain. So, the same goes again, you can only get 10 stacks of 64 vines, so 640 vines. Which means that you can't continuously do this money-making method, you know, crafting the diamond spreadings and selling them, because you can't get enough vines. So it's something, once again, that you can do a certain amount each day. It's a pretty good method to fall back on. Um, and if you can, if you know, if you don't have too many coins, something you can get into a habit of doing. Or plus, I mean, once you've crafted and, and listed your, your options up, it's a case of waiting probably five minutes for 14 of them to sell uh, and just basically rinse and repeat. Depending on the market at the time and how much you can sell the diamond spreadings for, you can easily make between 500k to 1.5 million. You can even make more. Potentially you could make less, but realistically usually you probably make around about 900k to a million coins through doing this. Probably take you no longer than 45 minutes. Now a million coins for 45 minutes work in the grand scheme is not really that much, but when you're starting from pretty much scratch, that's not bad at all. Now from there with a million coins you can quite easily start auction house flipping if that's a route that you want to go down. I'm not going to go into details in this video, although I will link a video in the description which will have a full guide that I've made in the past. Essentially, auction house flipping is buying items for cheap and selling them for higher. It's pretty much that. That's obviously a very simplified explanation. But yeah, there'll be a video linked. If, if you want to go ahead and, and take a look at auction house flipping, then be my guest. Click the link, have a look. Depending on how many coins you have, how good you know the market, you can make probably up to 20, 30 million coins an hour at the same time. It does rely quite a lot on luck, so it isn't the most reliable money-making method if you don't have the greatest knowledge of the market. It's a difficult one. But just quickly before we do get into the next video, if you are enjoying this video, then make sure you do subscribe. And if you are one of those people who watches my videos all the time, but hasn't subscribed, why? You should change that. So next up, we have Granny Zealots in the end. Um, So this is, you know, it's, I would still say this is definitely an early game money-making method. Although, really to grind this out sufficiently, you need to be dealing 13k damage per hit. Um, which is not too hard to achieve, but if you've not been playing the game for too long, don't have the greatest knowledge, then it can be difficult 100% at the start. Now before I explain the gear that I recommend that you should have in order to grind these efficiently as an early game player, I'm just going to go over what you're actually looking for. So when you kill Zealots, this is a Zealot right here, um, you have a chance for them to drop a summoning eye. Now at the moment, summoning eyes sell for around about 520k each on the bazaar. Now this price can change, it can be way higher and it can be way lower. So in order to increase your damage in the end, I would first of all recommend that you have an ender set. Now you can't buy this ender set, the easiest way or the only way to obtain it is basically by killing these endermen up here near the top. Every time you hit them, you basically have a chance to drop them. Now this is going to feel very difficult unless you have a god pot. A god pot is going to increase your magic find. And I would really recommend buying a god pot just in general. Um, it makes the game much better to play, really. You could also complete the Lost Adventure quests actually in the end and unlock yourself a Void Sword, and that's going to deal way more damage in the end. Now, in the Dragon's Nest, underneath the stairs, there's this little area here, and here you will see the Dragon Essence Shop. In the Dragon Essence Shop, there's one pretty important thing, and it is this here, Zeluk or Zeluk or however you'd like to say it. Basically, if you upgrade this, then you have more of a chance of dropping a Summoning Eye. A special Zealot is what you drop the Summoning Eye from. In order to get Dragon Essence, you essentially need to grind Enderman and grind mobs in the end. You'll then drop um, things like, uh, like the armor that I was talking about before. Also, equipment and other things like that. You can then essentially salvage it at the altar here, and you will then earn Essence. From there, you can upgrade your Z-Luck. And that will in turn increase your chances of dropping a Summoning Eye from a Zealot. Now, there are definitely more in-depth guides out there, but that is, in a nutshell, how you grind Zealots. And like I said for early game, I would definitely recommend Ender Armor. I'd say it's quite achievable to make it anywhere between maybe 2 to 4 million coins per hour. Basically, when you don't have the greatest gear at the start, it's not a bad money-making method, let's be honest. At the same time, you get a combat up too. Now, the last money-making method of the video brings us to the Dwarven Mines. You can follow where I go. Straight forward from spawn, take your first right down here, through this archway. From then, 
over to the left hand side through these gates down here straight on again through some more gates up the stairs to the right follow the path up all the way up this staircase all the way to the top then take a right up this staircase as well and you will find yourself at the treasure hoarders now essentially i mean we've got someone doing it here well the method is is basically you just kill the treasure hoarders once you kill the treasure hoarders they will drop treasure right and also starfall now i will say that these treasure hoarders if we can find one before everyone kills them they do have 22k hp if you don't believe me there you go so considerably more um considerably more health than the zealots but at the same time um with um, very little gear as long as you can do the damage consistently i would argue that these may be slightly more effective now i actually tested these out this week um and i was able to make four million coins per hour just from the drops although it is rumored that you can make many many more coins so these treasure holders will spawn all around this area here over the bridge off the bridge also there's um there's a little hole in the cave here you can go down here they spawn all in the water all around the edges they, they spawn all over the place and of course if we come over to the bazaar to see how much money we can actually make from this as you can see i mean it, it, ignore the actual price because this is this is from other things anyway as you can see here one treasure right sells for 5.4k now this is quite a bit considerably more rather than the starfall considering you get starfall for every treasure hold that you kill but for 26 starfall we get 36k um i only killed a few of them as well um so it'd just be as simple as selling them to the bazaar and yeah it's really not bad money at all now i know there's way 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 more ways to make money and maybe even more efficiently in early game than what i've gone over in this video if you do uncover any money making methods that make you a lot of coins by yourself i would recommend just not telling anyone grinding the treasure holders is always going to work grinding zealots is always going to work buying and selling back to the bazaar is always going to work considering you buy the right items and diamond spreadings will always sell um sometimes they go down to as low as like 3k each but if you list them sometimes you may just have to wait it out a little bit they will sell for more but anyway that just about wraps up today's video i hope you all have enjoyed if you have make sure you do leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one